The second exception is when there is a cause-effect relationship involved. The concept is that when there is a cause-effect relationship, and you have a sentence in which one part of the sentence talks about the cause, see, this part is the cause, and then there is a comma, very importantly, and then the other part is the effect. Cause, comma, effect relationship. Then in one part, you will see the ed form, and the other part will use ing form, and this is the correct construction. In fact, in such cases, the two verbs should not have the same form. The sentence is perfectly all right. And remember, this applies only when cause and the effect have been separated by a comma. For example, in this case, see, Jack practiced a plethora of quant problems and thereby increased his accuracy. In this case, you see that cause and the effect have been separated by and thereby. It's not a comma that is separating the cause from the effect, and therefore this sentence requires the two verbs practiced and increased to be parallel. And the sentence is perfectly all right. Remember, it is this sentence where the exception has to apply. Jack practiced plethora of quant problems is the cause, and there is a comma, and then the effect starts. Practiced and increased should not have the same verb forms because one is the cause and the other is the effect. This sentence is not correct. It has to be Jack practiced a plethora of quant problems, increasing his accuracy. This sentence is correct. One more example. Please pause the video. Do it yourself. Scientists have discovered a formula, putting an end to the epidemic. Scientists have discovered a formula is the cause. Putting an end to the epidemic is the effect. And therefore, the sentence is perfectly all right. Remember, it can be the other way round as well. That cause may have the ing form, and then the effect must have the ed form. So, discovering a formula, scientists have put an end to the epidemic. This sentence is also perfectly all right. Similarly, in the last example also, the sentence could have been, practicing plethora of quant problems, Jack improved his accuracy. That sentence would also be perfectly all right. Let's apply this concept on a GMAT-like question. Please understand the meaning involved. Editorial boards of modern universities are coming up with something that does all of this and, in effect, enhances the possibility of something. See, there is definitely a cause-effect relationship. This entire part is the cause, and there is a comma, and there is an effect in the latter part of the sentence. So there should definitely be the ing form after the comma. A2 or a4 after the comma do not make sense. These can be easily eliminated, and more importantly, we know that cause, comma, effect is the standard usage, and then if the cause does not have the ing form, the effect must, and vice versa. So enhancing is the correct usage, and this is the right choice. Even option D, if you go by elimination, you will see that after the comma, as a method to, is quite awkward. E is the correct answer choice. This was the concept, friends. GMAT shots are deliberately kept brief. For an elaborate explanation, please watch the Stage 1 conceptual videos in our program. Thanks for watching.